My name is Kayla Teal. I am a PhD candidate at Stony Brook University's Molecular Cell Biology uh, graduate program. And this year I am Francis Villay Fellowship Preceptor. So our lab studies Canada albicans, which is a yeast found in the human body, which is typically harmless, but it can cause terrible infections in the body. So what I study is how Canada is able to resist the natural immune system of our body to be able to become pathogenic. The world is really diverse and what makes up living organisms is molecules and they interact at a really interesting way to create the diversity that we see in the world. And as a black woman, I feel like having diversity in STEM is really important for us to have a better understanding of living organisms and life and each other. And so as a black woman, I feel like it's a part of my responsibility to be able to recruit other people of color, black and brown students who come into STEM so we can have a better understanding of STEM, understanding of life in general, since we are very diverse. My experience as the Valet preceptor this year was absolutely phenomenal. The young women are passionate about their work and they're excited. Women are a minority in STEM, so to see these young women be excited about STEM gives me a lot of hope for the future. Since STEM is predominantly uh, dominated by men, women being in this field can have a huge change in perspective. And so I'm super excited about the future with these young women working in STEM. My goal for the future is to actually work in public health. Public health is really important and we've seen that with COVID. Black and brown people are often sidelined in public health and health in general. And so my goal is to take what I learned in my program and bring it back to my community, um, specifically the black and brown community, so we can raise awareness about the disparities that they face in the health sector and bring that to the forefront to start solving these issues. I would love to thank the Francis Villay uh, Fellowship Program, the Panafil Foundation, and the College of Arts and Sciences for working collaboratively to be able to support these young women in their research. And I'm so happy I was able to be a part of their evolution as researchers this summer.